This is a load boss alternator. The uh, voltage regulator up here on the top went out. Um, load boss alternator. If you call the number, let's see if it'll come in. Oh, yeah, there's your phone number. Don't call it because the company sucks. Talk to a guy named Bill on the phone. He says that this product will only last two to three years. So in my opinion, this is not a permanent fix. It's just a band-aid for your solution. My band-aid only lasted two years and three months until the voltage regulator went out, which I'm going to take apart and replace. Hopefully, when I put it back together, it works. Okay, to disassemble your alternator, you're going to want to take apart these three 8 millimeter bolts. And then there's a screw right here. Looks like I want to take the screw out because you can see that's holding the, that top on. So I'll grab my screwdriver. This might need to come off. There it goes, just comes right on off now. Now that you've gotten it all apart, looks like there's only about four screws that holds it on. As you can see, you're going to take this screw, that screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw. Those four screws out, and you'll be able to take the voltage regulator off. See, comes just slides right on out after you get all your bolts out of it. Now let's put the new one on there. Doesn't look any different. This piece of shit's made in Japan, that's why it failed. This one doesn't say made in Japan. It probably is made in Japan because it's a J Japanese car. Whatever. <laughs> Slide it back in place. Put all your screws back in there, and then we'll put the top back on, and we're done. Sure, they're all on there nice and tight so it doesn't fall off. You know, do this again. All right, now let's put the top back on it. Okay, and that's how you swap out the uh, voltage regulator on your alternator. Don't buy a boss load alternator or you're going to be taking this shit out and swapping this out before you want to.